you guys, you guys know where we're at, and you guys know who I'm with. One of my favorites. Aww, you Avocado favorite. Thotty. Ah! It's, you, hey. know, it's, you know, it's weird calling you that now, because we're like, we're like, in a, like on a real friend-to-friend -friend basis. Yeah. So saying Avocado Thotty seems like such like a horny thing to do. We're here with Janet. Little Dead Janet. Little Dead say. Janet. Little Dead Janet. That. Cheers to life, Cheers. Janet. You feel me? Where am I in your apartment? Of course. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for coming. So, by the way, you guys, me and Andres have been on a weird filming schedule where, yeah, today's Monday. It's like 8 p.m. You just came back. I just landed yesterday. Okay. So it's yeah. so it's super crazy. I, I did a podcast on a Sunday, like at 4 p.m., uh -huh. maybe 2, and it just felt so weird, but just like having my own little space now, it, it feels dope, so I'm just like yeah. constantly like... If somebody can make it happen now, let's make it happen now type shit. That's you know? the same way I am. I'm down to do it. Like, I'm, you know. And I was like, when do you land? And you told me, and I was like, oh, you're going to do it this day at 8 p.m.? And you're like, yeah, I'm done. I'll be there. Yeah. So shout out you for coming. I was bugging you a little bit. I was like, you know. Hey, you know, my, hey that was. <laughs> is it because hey. I just get really like, I want to set up my day correctly? Yes. So I just want to know for sure. You know? No, 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 that's totally my fault. Yeah. Andres was taking a nap. That's why, but it's also my fault. Cause, why are you taking a nap? Because <laughs> I let him know like day of yeah, sometimes. Because yeah, yeah. you were like, you're like, I'm gonna confirm with you, and yeah, then we confirmed, and then confirmed. I still like. So yeah, totally yeah. my fault. Nobody else's fault but mine. You feel me? But yeah, we're here on Cheese with Duno. Janet, how you doing? No, yeah, I just came from a bender. Actually. Whoa, you've been bendering lately. I seen that. Basically, yeah, I just came back from Miami and Dallas. Okay. It was so lit. Like I had the best. Like week ever, like the best week ever. Wow, better than Ibiza. <laughs> better than Ibiza, yes. Cause I, cause we linked up to just kick it, and you were you were breaking down to me about um how Ibiza went, and I was like, damn, it seemed like a little bit like a hassle. What did I tell you? Cause I forgot that you guys phone died because you guys didn't get the portals oh, for your yeah, yeah, yeah. for the dude. Okay, yeah, cause me and my friend went to Ibiza. We didn't have the right phone charger, like. The the phone outlet. So as soon as I landed, we landed in Portugal. Yeah. My phone died. And I'm a phone addict. Like I need I need my phone. Like I need to make sure that, you know, my family is okay. So like yeah, yeah. not having my phone and it, it was like eleven PM over there. So then I literally was like, we need to go find a phone charger. And so we went to the club. We, I kept asking people around like, do you have a phone charger? Do you have a phone charger? And this guy had one. We went to his house, and I charged my phone. And, and <laughs> by the way, you guys, I told you, I'm like, dude, you can't be like out the country, no matter where you're at. Like, it was if really you're from, scary, like, yeah. if you're from Mexico or somewhere that you come to the United States, just don't go to a random guy's house, please, ladies. Honestly, I just feel like I was so grateful that he wasn't a weirdo. He did ask for, a time, but besides that, he was like cool, <laughs> and he had roommates, and the roommates were cute too. So it was like, so okay. nobody got a. Nobody had a no, but he tried cutting individual. Yes. He tried cutting. No, we didn't do anything with them. We literally just went there to charge our phone. But obviously, like, I felt bad because I'm like, let's leave the club. And the club closes at 6 in the morning over there. So I made him leave the club early. So, like, I still partied with him in his apartment because I don't, felt bad. But don't feel bad because in his head, he's like, the three. Yeah, he had, coming. like, two baddies with him. <laughs> his, roommate, his roommate comes. Like, his both of his roommates come. And they were like mad at him, but then, but then he was like, "Oh, I'm with these two girls," and then yeah, it was funny. Okay, but and you guys... know what's funny? They found my Instagram after. Like wow. we never exchanged anything, and then they hit me like months later, like just finding me online. Nice. Like, Isn't this you? I'm like, yes. You're like, yeah, that was me in your apartment. <laughs> They're probably like, damn, we had him here. We didn't make it happen, but yeah, man, congratulations. You've been like on like this like healing process like i said we talk like on a homie basis now oh yeah because i br had a breakup you had a breakup you've been like on this super healing process and i'm like yeah janet do it up because i feel like whenever i did talk to you before you i mean obviously you had a boyfriend so it, it just yeah. you were always just limited to the things you were saying or just in general you were just very like he was very controlling I, I, that's kind of what i was gonna say where you were like a little more conservative about just you in general yeah and yes you do do what you do for a living, but you exactly. still like on in a, on a personal level, you were very much like. So yeah. so now seeing you kind of just like ah. No, yeah, he was on my ass. Everything I did, he had to like control me in a way. And so once I broke up with him, it's been like 
I'm free. It's like I've been out of prison. Like I've been <laughs> living my best life, and it's so fun. Like I wish I did it sooner. Low key, I wish I broke up with him sooner. I mean, you know, things happen in life. Like if people don't know, about two years ago, I met Janet, and we yeah. sat down and we did. And she's a dog stealer. She. I stole. I. You know, I have her. She's mine now. I, I, I love she's that like, for you. It, it, that feels like a custody battle, huh? Basically, <laughs> yeah. Never get a guy a dog. Learn from me. Never get them a dog. Do you feel like that's like the same thing as the saying like never buy a man's shoes if not he'll leave you? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard that before? No. You never heard that before? No. So people always say that like never buy a man's shoes because he'll leave you. Or I the mean, other way around like don't ever buy a girl's shoes. I mean I feel like if you're just like buying someone stuff without them having to work for it, yeah. Because then they're like oh this bitch buying me stuff. Yeah. You get me? Was that kind of your vibes? I definitely was like. Tricking? It's, but it's like not because I wanted to, like, I just had it like that, you know, like, yeah, I, yeah. Just, I just had it like that, and, like, whatever he wanted, I would get him, but then it turned into, like, this toxic, like, relationship where it was, like, he was just taking advantage of it, you know? What was the most expensive thing you bought him? I got him, like, two cars. Fully paid for? Mm, I put down payment. Oh, that's not, like, for what type of car? Tesla. Put two Teslas? It, I, don't, I forgot what the first car was. I'm not really a car person, but the second one was a Tesla, yeah. <laughs> like how you were just like, I love you. Down payment for a car. No, but it was so traumatic, like, because, you know, you do that for somebody and they still treat you like sh- You're just kind of like, you know. Maybe that just wasn't your person. No, he definitely is not my person. Like, I try to make it a positive thing. Just, you're just I like, just, I just feel that for fool. me, like, I try to be that girlfriend that was like, I'm here to uplift you. I'm here to, like... You know, elevate you, your yeah. your lifestyle, everything. Like, I wanted to help him. That was kind of, like, my motive. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I got you a car, so be good to me. You know? Like, it was just yeah. more like, I care. You need a car. Here you go. Okay. I, I, I feel that. But also, like, I don't, like, I get what you're saying. It's just, it. I feel like what you, your line of work, and, and I'm not giving him any excuse of what um, on what happened on yeah. your guys' personal level, but it is, like, a lot to deal with. But I feel like also if you're in that, you know, you know what it is. Like you a baddie. Yeah. Like you know what time it is with me. Like you, it's not like this is new to you. This is who I am. Yeah, like, exactly. And bada bing, bada boom type. Yeah. Shit. No, yeah, he knew exactly who I was before he talked to me. Exactly. Yeah. Like Loki was a fan. Oh, you fell in love with a fan. No, but I didn't know he was a fan. <laughs> the thing is, like, when I started talking to him, like I that was my first time meeting him. But then, like, yeah. after a while, like. He was. He admitted to me. He was like, "Yeah, I knew who you were like months before he even met me." Wow. He, like, he saw me on Twitter or something. Damn. And so he shot his shot. He shot his shot in the DMs or on Twitter. He shot his shot in real life. We were at the club and he tried to talk to me, and I ignored it, I guess. And then yeah. he DM'd me, and then I replied, "Yeah." So. And then after that, it bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. After that was yeah. But, it was um. But that happens to me a lot, where like a guy that. I'm meeting for the first time, but they already know me. Yeah. And it's, like, kind of weird, you know? Because I'm, like, they don't tell me that they know me, you know? So they'll come up to you, like, trying to, like, low-key finesse the, like, hey, this about a, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Wow. Has that ever happened to you? In person, I've had a girl, like, you know what? I've had a girl ask for my IG, yeah. like, in person, and then, like, she don't recognize she don't recognize me right off the bat, but then like she'll be like, oh yeah, let me get your IG, and I'm like, and obviously I don't want to just give anybody my number, so like, but right. it also looks like like kind of kind of like a little douchey, like oh here's my your... IG, yeah. But then you then you look at it as like the blue check mark, all these followers, right? <clears throat> You're right. So I always go like, oh let me get yours, and they go like, no nah, let me get yours, and I'm like, ah, fuck, all right I guess, and then I give it to them, and then they like, they like. And then I just go like, yes. I, I, and they're like, oh, my God. And you know what? Yeah. You'd be surprised how many girls, like, yeah, it might turn them the fuck on. Like, oh, this was popping. And then yeah. they see, like, people I work with. Interviews. Or some girls be like, uh, yeah. that's, like, a little too much for me. That's how I feel, too. Like, I don't like giving out my number or my Instagram. Because once they see my Instagram, they're like, oh, so, like. Yeah, yeah. They just, just post an ass and stuff. I'm like, yeah. And then they ask what I do for work. And I'm like, uh, and it gets awkward, like. See, but now you can say podcaster. Yeah, but my Instagram isn't like really like. Podcast growed out. Yeah, I feel. I, I totally. Pro- feel I should that. probably like switch it up switch a little it bit. Switch it up a little bit because 
That happened to me today. I was at the mall and like this guy wanted my Instagram and I kept saying like, I have a boyfriend, leave me alone. And he was like. <laughs> he kept trying it. Like I literally was walking into different stores. Like I walked into the Gucci oh, store. Oh, he followed you to different stores. That's a, see, that's crazy. I followed, I went to the Gucci store because I'm like, he's not going to follow me in there. And then I go in the Gucci store, buy myself something. And then like, I'm all happy because I just bought myself something and he still follows me. He really wanted my Instagram, and I kept saying, I have a boy. Like, I don't have one, but I just... Yeah, you were just like... And he was like, I don't see a ring. Then I kind of got you. Like, you're right. Oh, you're right. I was like, (laughs) low-key. Yeah, but he wasn't cute, so I was just like, I wish guys could just take notes. Do you have a type? Uh, no. You don't have a type? So I don't think so. You're just, like, down for whatever you, you find attractive? I'm attracted to energy so it's not really like how a person looks but it's like how they make like you know like, but is that like a vibe. thing you're just saying because you're just like i want to be all deep or that's like no, really because, you because i would be like oh like i like six foot guys and up and you, you get yeah, me like, yeah but then i like the short guys so then i'm like maybe i do like anybody you know i'm like, gonna tell you have you ever dated a short king because you're pretty tall people haven't met you in person five, seven yeah, yeah so you're pretty like, tall for latina i do like shorter guys yeah yeah, I do. Are you like not like you like pick them up type shit? Okay, not like not that <laughs> short. I'm definitely like at least like my height. Okay, you're cool with your height. I'm cool with my okay. height. Okay. Maybe a little shorter, but yeah. Def- okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad, right? But I am tall, so it's like when I do wear heels. Yeah. And I'm know, taller than them, but it's fine, it's fine. I, I like short guys. It's yeah. Fine. You know what's crazy? I just recently uh, came out in a wedding. And um, my homegirl that I went, my homegirl got married. Shout out Marin Junior, they got married. But the her bridesmaid that I was partnered with is also the homegirl I went to high school with her. But I haven't seen her in a while, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I see her every like blue moon or the homegirls, but they're they're best friends. Yeah. And um, I was in London like right before that. Right. So I was like, damn, I just forgot how tall. I'm like I'm like a normal height. I'm like five nine, like five ten, I think. Okay. Depends what I'm wearing that day, to be honest. But I'm <laughs> I'm normal for a Latino. Like I'm yeah. a normal size height. And my homegirl is 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 low key like like a little tall. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna look hella short next to her. <laughs> and then cause I'm like, she's gonna wear yeah, heels. You know, she's like she's like a little ratchet, so she might wear some big heels. But mm-hmm. nah, we ended up looking like exactly we look pretty good together. So I was like, safe. Yeah, I don't feel like, you know, he's a little shorter. It's no problem. No problem with it. Okay, that's I cool. I work with it. <laughs> Why'd you hesitate <laughs> like that? Yeah, but, um, yeah, you've been traveling, like, so much. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you, like it's, I said. It's so fun. I love traveling. Is that, like your, is that, like, your goal for 2024, more of it? Yes. So I feel like I want to just go everywhere. Like, I want to go to London. How was that? Uh, you know what? I, I, I can't fully judge it. Cause I was only there technically for like a day and a half, maybe yeah. even a day, and it was all work. But I would say that the food sucks. I did hear about that. They, the food sucks. They eat like beans and toast and. Whatnot. Bro, it was fucking terrible. Like, uh-huh. and it's so expensive, dog. But but I mean, so you've been to Europe. Yeah, yeah uh, um, we went to Portugal. I went to Ibiza. And was then, Portugal expensive, or were you there for like only through the plane? I was only there for like twelve hours. You, like, walked around the city? That's when I was looking for the damn charger. Oh, shit, okay. And they speak Portuguese. So I was like, what the fuck is Portuguese? Like, I don't know. Like, anything. So then I'm like, charger, charger. Like, someone help me, please. Yeah, and then, (laughs) okay, so, one, London's fucking expensive. The UK's expensive. Yeah. Their dollar doesn't equalize our dollar. Like, you know. Oh, yeah, Europe, all of of Europe is more expensive. Yeah, so our dollar, anywhere else, is like, oh, we got bread. Oh, here in this, in this... Like, like, like in world, Central America, yeah. North America, yeah. we got money. Yeah. Like, the dollar is worth a lot more than theirs. Over there, our shit is like, no. No, yeah, it's weaker. Like, it said, like, 10 pounds, and I was like, oh, 10 bucks. I think, I think pounds is more than, like, euros. Yeah, yeah. So, pounds is the UK. Yeah. So, I, they were, like, 10 pounds, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's up. Psych food, yeah. that shit. It, like, converts to, like, a dollar twenty-five or something. Bro, that shit was way more, dog. <laughs> For, like, 10 bucks, like, 18 bucks. I was like, oh, shit. And the Ubers, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's it just... Oh, yeah. it, I wasn't there too long. I wasn't being... I, I wasn't able to really, like... Yeah. You know, see what what I should have seen. But yeah. the people were cool, like, you know, and they are funny. And you their action's gonna, like, blow your fucking mind. Like, mm-hmm. you're just, like... Oh my God! Really? Like wow! And yeah, it's, it's it's a the roads are small. There's no trucks out there. No trucks. Um, 
Yeah, it's just it's, it's crazy. What about that like red bus? Did you go on it? No, I didn't go on it. The ones that the the Harry Potter ones. Mm -hmm. No, they're no, I didn't go on no, them. You didn't go, but but they were definitely that. there. I definitely took a picture in front of one. Oh, I saw you in the booth. Okay, so don't. <laughs> I, I don't even think those work. I think it's just staged. Yeah, yeah. I it, mean, at one I point mean, they it's, used. It, yeah, it. it's more of a aesthetic now. Like yeah. it's more of a look. But yeah, it's. But you dope. should go to Ibiza. You know what? The um, partying is crazy. Shout out my boy, um, Sebas from La Platica. He was like, full, go to Ibiza. Go. He's and, like, you, and you like EDM. Yeah, I fuck with EDM. It, that, like, that's the, like, um, center of EDM in Europe okay. is Ibiza. When you were there, who was DJ? I, like, saw Fisher. I saw... Great, great Camel DJ. Camel Fat. Um, this group called Keen Music. And then... <laughs> I forgot who else. Have you seen that TikTok where like there's like these people partying on top of a roof and like the sunsets coming down? And I think is it Ibiza? Was it kind of like that? Mm, it was more like you party and then you come out and it's it's broad daylight, and then it's like six in the morning and people are like, okay, after party, and then I'm like, what? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, fuck. but this time. In, in when I went to Miami this time, I really tried my hardest to keep up. Like, I was, like, pre-gaming at 3 in the morning to make it at 8 in the morning to space. And it was really hard. Like, I couldn't I couldn't hang. And also the time kind of fucks you up a little bit. A little bit. But also, too, I don't do drugs. So, like, I mainly just drink. I don't do anything else. And that's what's hard because I say no to drugs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my <laughs> thing where my homies get mad at me for, like, Falling asleep and shit like that, I'd be yeah. like, "Fool, I don't do the sugar booger." I'm not gonna lie, I did this 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 past weekend or oh. Halloween weekend. I did. Wow. I did some for the first time. Oh, for the first time. Mm hmm Wow, how was that? Honestly, it made me really happy. The two C. I was just happy in, in Miami. I was just happy. Like, but were you depressed after? No, but I did get sleep paralysis. Wow, you know, you know what's crazy that <laughs> I one time on accident drank Molly water. On accident? On accident. Dude. And the next they day. They set you up because one time a girl tried to set me up like that too. She was like, here's water. And I'm like, bitch, what kind of water? <laughs> nah, nah, I was drunk and I was just, I was drinking out of people's waters. You know, when you're drunk, you want to like drink shit. Yeah. And, um, and it's nobody's fault, totally my fault. Also, yeah. like, it's not like Molly was like, Fucking fan at ours where they're gonna fucking just kill me. But mm -hmm. I did fucking take some Molly. Yeah. And fucking um I what was this? Like happy. Was like I, I was at a I was at an event. Like, we wanna go see Mochak in the Martinez brother at the Coliseum. Oh Mochak, okay. Yeah. Mm, he played that one time. I, you know, he I, mean, I think he follows me on Instagram. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. great fucking song. Yeah. Then then so I wanna go see Mochak and um the next, and and I remember I like went in and out of like my my like party like I was I don't remember part of it and then I remember the whole other part like it was a wild fucking yeah. time. Point is I got there it was Liddy and then the next day I <laughs> felt like just like sad I wanted like a hug. We need to rave together. We we were supposed to meet up at EDC but that was never gonna fucking happen. I think I yeah I tried to. But, but it was I like hit, I remember I hit you up about it I was like I, cause I didn't have anyone to go with. You went by yourself I remember you telling me that which is weird you gotta stop doing that fool. Somebody's I gonna kidnap you, dog. Don't say that. But, I'm, but fool, that's a, you are a very attractive young lady. For you to not need to be anywhere but alone. But anyways, I didn't. I ended up going with some some other like friends that I had. But that was really fun too. I stayed until it ended. I stayed Which until was six in the morning. John Summit. I did not see John Summit. I saw him in Miami though this past weekend. Oh, for real? How was that? I was vibing. It was so fun. Bro, that was lit. He did not play deep end though. I kept complaining. I'm like, when is he gonna play deep end? And he never did. Cause you know, DJ be having like their one sets, like yeah. where they just do like certain like yeah, certain type it, of music. And it was like only from five in the morning to seven. So it was only like two hours. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, see I can't I don't know if I could party at five AM. No, dude, let me tell you. I party from three in the morning till no no no. Like one in the morning, I started pre gaming and I left till 11 in the morning. And you slept. And I danced the whole time. The whole, like my feet went numb. Like, well, I were you wearing like boots like this? I was wearing high heels. Like, not like boots with heels, not like these. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, I was like dancing the whole time. It was so fun. That sounds like a laugh. No, but it wasn't because like everyone in the club is just like lit and vibing that you just want to like dance with everybody. And it was like Fisher, you know? It was, yeah, Fisher's lit. He's like. 
That was like for the he techno play, mommies. He played for he played for six hours. Cause I was at one point like my phone died and I was like, bro, how long is he gonna go? He, and then they were like till close. I'm like, when is till close? Three p.m. I'm like three. Did you leave at three p.m. or you left at eleven? I left at eleven. But but the thing is, in that club you can leave and come back. So you can like leave at like eleven, chill, come back at like one. That's a you're at space. Club space, yeah. I need to take you because it's so fun. Bro, we we gotta go. I one of my favorite sets to like watch. Shout out to homegirl Steph, little Steph. She put me on. Uh, Clooney had a set there. Yeah. And they're just they put it's, it's like horny music. It's kind of like it's like techno. Yeah. House like it's vibey. All, all the international DJs go. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Like it's a must. Like it's a must. I'm I'm telling all my friends you have to do it like once in your lifetime. Just yeah. party till the morning. I'm like on the vibes. Did you do the? Uh, did you do the? Oh no, well, obviously not. You were in um. You were in Miami. Where were you in Miami for Halloween? I was in Miami, f yeah, basically for Halloween. Okay, yeah, okay, that's when okay. I saw Fisher was Halloween. And then there was a, this rave, Hocus Pocus. Okay. It was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In Miami. In Miami. I saw John Summit. Hocus Pocus. I never heard of that one. It's just like a, a Halloween rave. I see. For, you know who I saw for five hours, DJ? Um, Gordo. Oh, I saw him too. Great DJ. I think I saw him at his, like, after thing. He's sick, Because I remember seeing your story, and it was outside, but I saw him at a club that same Yeah, day. I saw him at the Persian Square. Yeah, there you go. Bro, I was like, bro, this fool He's sick. good, and he's, like, he's Mexican, right? He's, I don't know if he's Mexican. He's some sort of type of Latino. Yeah, because he remixes a bunch of, like, Latino music, no? Yeah, yeah, he, what should he used to be, um, for a DJ Carnage. Okay. And then he just changed his name to go. Guatemalan. He's Guatemalan? Guatemalan. Okay. Wow. Shout wow. out Gordo for taking the yeah, man. Shout out the Latinos winning in the in the whole like EDM world, like De Oro, Gordo, apparently. Um I thought he was probably like Dominican or something. They're which they're Latino too, but I'm just saying, like Gordo and then fucking dude, one of my new favorite DJs is Red Tape. Okay. That for shit. You gotta fool, you gotta watch him, fool. Yeah. Like, it, that shit is horrible. Are you gonna go to countdown? I don't think so. No. Are you going? I I want to. I wanna see this one guy. You know, I went last year for Countdown. It was raining, though. And it was raining, and it was I just... feel like that's why they had to, like, make the, like, lineup so good this year, because last year was, like, a fail, no? Like, it was yeah, bad. Yeah, the weather fucking ruined it for sure. Yeah, it was, like, muddy. People were getting muddy. Bro, it was bad. But, yeah, I think this year, yeah, their, their lineup is sick. They have Jester and 4B back-to-back. -back. Mm -hmm. they, they have a gang of... It's, it's, it's booming. I was like, oh, this is a sick-ass lineup. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the it's countdown? sick. For, you know what? I want to escape this year, and I was like, whatever's about it. Yeah, that's why I went to Miami. I was like, if I'm a rave, I'm going to go to Miami. Mm, you went solo? <laughs> yeah. Phew. <Stop. laughs> you went like, the whole the whole thing was you alone. No, no, no. Okay, so I... Honestly, it's, it's this whole story, but I bought my own ticket. Like, I have my, my gay best friend lives over there, first of all. So, okay. And I, I know some people, That's too. a twerker, dude? No, I don't think you ever... Huh? Doesn't one that's always twerking? No, no, no. Whenever that's, I that's Mario. That that's this is another best friend. Yeah, Mario just always twerking. Every time I see him with you, he's just twerking it up. Dude, there's a video. I'm like, live it up, Mario. One time I was literally throwing up my guts and, and he was just twerking. twerking. <laughs> and there's a video. There's Shout a out video. Mario for living life. You literally. know, one time, one time I I think we went to an we had an event together. I think I in, in the OC. What was that? Yeah, I remember that. I remember. And Mario was twerking, and he, he like tilted all the alcohol on us. And then I was like, dude. Damn, he was making moves. That yeah. we, and then I think, was it called your sister was there? Yeah. Your ex was there? Hey, by the way, whatever happened to those hats? I think I still have them. Okay, In thanks. my closet. Okay. No, he didn't touch them. No, I mean, I wasn't going to say he touched them, but I'm just saying, like, no, yeah. you were like, hey, I have your hats. Never seen them before. <laughs> Never seen them again. Well, think about me. Like, I keep everything, so... I have See, you're better than me, fool, because if you leave something in my car after a week or if I text you and you confirm, yeah. if nothing is confirmed, it's being thrown away. Yeah. I'm, I have your hoodie, fool. He left an FTP hoodie in my car for I don't know how oh many yeah. how many weeks. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you got to pick, like, I have enough clothes here. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just can't be living with other people's clothes here. Like, I have a thing about things looking messy. It's a fucking very, like, very, very, like, OCD out like oh you have OCD like it's like like even like me not having a fridge and having to throw shit away like I'm throwing the trash out away like every two hours just because I don't a, like how that looks that's a good thing though 
That's a good thing. Like, I'm he, the opposite. I don't give a fuck. I just be messy. Nah, like, we, I had, like, the first little kickback here with all my, like, close mm-hmm. friends. And these fools are just spilling white claws back and forth. And I'm just like, clean, clean. Like, I just, it's fucking. I feel like it's because it's new here, you know? Like, no, I'm new. like that in general. Oh, like, in general? just in okay. general. Like, like, fool. Like, it's, it's like yeah. bad. But it's not bad to where, like, I'm rude about it. I'm mm-hmm. just like, fool. Don't spill shit in my fucking, yeah. on my floor. Like, I hate people that spill shit. Like, why are you spilling stuff, fool? Like, yeah. don't put things next to your I hate, foot. I like, you... sloppy people. That's what it is. Sloppy people. And the sloppiest is, is, is yeah. some of my friends. I was friends. a little sloppy this, this past weekend. Like in Miami? In Miami and in L.A. and in Dallas. What's sloppy? I was just getting too lit. Was like, but when you mean sloppy, it's like ratchet sloppy or like you're just being like throwing Honestly, up everywhere? I just had a good, I just had a good time. Oh my God. Are you insinuating that somebody, you were out there on a, on a whole weekend trip date? <laughs> You were on a date, you fool. You could just say that. I was, like, <laughs> I was not on a date. You were, you no, were, no, no, you were so, on a vacation, Loki. No, I was not. A, okay, it, it was like probably like a one-sided vacation because I didn't, I did not think the guy liked that. I thought he was just the homie. And then he poured out his feelings for you. No, he did not pull out his feelings. But he like basically, ba- I bought my own flight to Miami, and I was like, let's think up like on some like homie shit. I do that a lot. Like I just like. Hang out with people. Yeah, yeah. And I missed my flight because something something happened. And then he was like, oh, like. I'll buy your other flight. I'll buy you the new one. I'm like, okay, period. First class? No, not first class. Oh. But like, and then he like picked me up from the airport and got me flowers and chocolates. And then I was like, okay, I kind of fucked up. Like, I didn't think he would do that. Thank you. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like sitting in his Maybach like. I don't know what to do. But then, like... He has a Maybach. Whoa. This, nice. It, it just if felt, he has a Maybach, he should have got you first class. Fool. No, but, like, honestly, like, I just thought he was just a friend. Like, you know, like, I wasn't trying to, like, you know, do anything with him. So I stayed at his house. And then, mm. low-key, low-key, he kicked me out. <laughs> low-key, low-key. What do you mean out. he kicked you out? He just kind of was like, oh, there's a family emergency. I have to, like, leave, so you have to leave. And then I left. He never left his house. Like, he didn't. Where'd you stay? I stayed at my other friend's house. So I was just like. <laughs> at your gay best friend's my house. My gay best friend's house. Okay, but, okay. like, low-key was just like, okay, I don't know. I guess. I guess because I wasn't, like. He didn't go to any event with you. He, we were going to events together. And then once he. Um, Got the family emergency? Yeah. He still hang out with me. <laughs> so then who'd you go to Dallas with? Oh no, no, this is not this is in Miami. Oh, so when was Dallas? Right after. So I went to Miami first and then okay. I went to Dallas for a friend's birthday. And I stayed with like the homegirls. Like Okay, that's cool. That's different. That's different. No, You're yeah. just out here wilding, huh? A little bit. That's funny. You like kicked me out. I low key got kicked out. I was telling my Did friend, I was like, I don't think he has a family emergency, like I was over here trying to comfort him, like, I'll take you out to dinner, because he was acting sad, and he never left. He, he, he the was trying to do the pity party into the pussy. He was like, did he try? Did he try, like, a move? Not really. Not really. Which I respected, because, like, I wasn't, like, uncomfortable. No, no, I'm not. I mean, like, somebody could get the wrong, like, I'm not saying, like, aggressively, but, like, did he, like, try to lean in for a kiss? Yeah. And you would just do, hey... He got mad at me because I was dancing with a gay guy at the rave. I was like, but he's gay. Like, <laughs> But did you kiss him back? Maybe. No, I didn't kiss him. Dude, if you <laughs> kissed him back, say it. <laughs> you, no. you did it. So how, how, what was like the dodge like? I mean, he kissed me on the cheek. But when he tried to kiss you in the lips, were you like, <laughs> like, like, I'm trying to figure out the situation. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fucked up, so I don't remember it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. you're just dodging. A little bit. Damn, that's But it cr- was so fun. Like, he's still my homie. Like, Yeah, regardless. but I mean, he just kicked you out. But I get it, but also, like, you could have been real, but also, like, you have a girl roommate, so, like, I don't know. Oh, it's just like a weird you. It was just like a weird Your situation. life's a trip sometimes. Like, you tell no, me No, my life is a trip. It's What's, like, like other like, trippy shit that's happened lately? Oh, I've seen you were at a party with like a, a lot of like uh, a lot of porn stars. I saw Lena, yeah. Disney Shout out Lena, Lena, yeah. How was what was the? So I went to this like influencer party for uh, Halloween. That was the best night of my life. Let was me it tell an you. influencer party? Let me tell you. Was okay. Was it an influencer it was party? Like an old-
like the the one who hosted it was an only fans girl, so it was like industry, and but there was a bunch of influencers there too, like okay. Fans. So I go and then like I see Lena and I was like so excited and she's so cute and happy and I yeah. took a picture with her. What were you? You were I was a little devil. And she was the Snow White, I think. I think she was like Princess Jasmine. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then I left that party and then I went to another party and then there I met my husband. Who's your husband? <laughs> That's Maybach. Oh no, Maybach to do that. Try to kiss you. I would tell you, but I don't want to say it on camera. I'll bleep it. I promise you. Oh, wow. You linked up after. Yeah. Had babies. Yeah. Yes! He took my virginity, too. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, apparently, you saw your shot, right? No, so at first I was like fangirling low key because like he's one of my favorite artists, and um, I just wanted a picture, and then he said no, like him and his team were like no, no pictures, and then I was like okay whatever, and then he started talking to me. He was like oh I like your costume blah blah blah, and then and he, this was like a, like an industry party as well. This was like in I don't even know Soldier Boy was performing. I don't even know why I was there. <laughs> By I the way, you guys, <laughs> it's not Soldier Boy. And Sergio Boyd did not take her above her virginity. It was a different artist. I mean, I don't know if you want to confirm that. Just let them know that it wasn't Soldier Boy. It was not Soldier Boy. It was not Soldier Boy. It was. It was. Um, but like, it was a Soldier Boy party. I don't even know. Like, my friend just took me there. Like, I, hi, I hide. You know, the club. Oh, okay, okay. But like, Soldier Boy perfor performed, and then he showed up, and then that's when we were at the same table. And then... He, but you guys were on the same table on accident or, like, somebody, like... On accident. Like, yeah. he was just there. And I was just, like... Low-key, I did try to, like, talk to him. But he talked to me first. He talked to me first. But then you asked for a picture while he started the conversation. No, no, no. I asked for a picture before he even talked to me. Okay, 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 okay. And, yeah. then, and then they were just, like, oh, just stand here. Like, his people were, like... Because I was with my other friend. And they were, like, oh, just stand here. Like, just be cute here. I'm like, okay, period. And then he started talking to me. And then I low-key fumbled a little bit. And he started talking to another girl. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, it's fine. But How'd you fumble? Like, what'd you say? I just got awkward. Ah. Because I was just, I wasn't trying to act like a fan. And I low-key was. Yeah, yeah, you like, like, me? like, fucking, you were trying to play too cool. Yeah. Okay. And then, but, but anyways, we ended up going to his house. And then. Everybody? Or was it like, hey, you come with it me? It was like me, my my bestie, and then these two other like Colombian girls. And then we all went to the house. And then like, I, I shot my shot. Like I kissed him first. In front of everybody? Basically, yeah. Wow. And then, yeah. And then he was like, mi, mi cuarto. Basically, yeah. Your Spanish is okay or is good? My, it's good? I speak Spanglish. Okay, but he does too? He speaks really good English, yeah. But he also, he was like, mommy. Like, yeah, of course, yeah. And then you, like, he was just like, the room now. Yeah. Well, you would have been down for a threesome if he would have invited another girl? Honestly, maybe. Maybe. The life of stardom. Maybe. Reggaeton artist, huh? I, I honestly would have done. I, I'm telling you, like, he's my husband. Yeah, see, I gotta get it together. I gotta start doing reggaeton or something. Imagine just like, and, and you, did, you, you, let's go. And I didn't want to do, you know, like, it just happened. Like, he asked me. Like, he asked you, like, like, okay, can you, can you hold up, hold up, hold up. By the way, we gotta bleep up the word, please, for every time we say it, because YouTube does not like that word. Okay, was he like, mamita, lo quiero poner aquí? Like, or what was, like, the, like, what did he say? He was just kind of like, I don't even remember, like, I don't remember exactly what he said, but I was kind of like, no, at first I was like, no, because I've never done it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was just like, fuck it, whatever. If it's going to be somebody, it's got to be him. It 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 got to be him. I almost said his name. Holy shit. <laughs> now, you know what? I'm happy for you to live your life, Janet. Like, you're Thank doing you. you. Are you guys connected now? Yeah. Like, are you like, mommy, you my like wife? Like no, yeah, he's my husband. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what if he's down to go public? Are you down to go public? 
Yeah, he's my husband. <laughs> I don't know what that means, though. Like, he, is he your husband? Like, I don't, I don't ever want to be with him, but I'm just down to fuck every time he's in L.A.? Or, like... If he's my husband, he's my husband. I'll write, like, he's my man. Yeah, you shout out. I, f- I, I, I totally understand you. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. I'm, I'm happy for you. And I'm telling you, like, I, I love Are you him. taller than him? No, we're, like, the same height. <laughs> we're like the same That's height. what I was telling you. <laughs> with, the, with the heels, I was a little bit taller. With yeah. my little devil ears, I yeah. was a little bit taller. But, like, uh, we're kind of the same height. I love that for you, fool. I love Thank that you. for you. Thank I lo- you. You know what? I'm, I'm like a brand new woman, too. I was telling my friend, Oh, like, that, that's what I was going to ask you. Are you so much, much more open to, like, doing it up now? Yeah. The yeah. spread of the buns has... Changed your life. It's it really did change my life, yeah. In a very positive way. Yeah, I cured my depression. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even kidding. Like I've been so happy. Wow. Are you like talk on an everyday basis talking? No. Well, obviously he's like a very busy man. No, yeah, and like also he's like a celebrity, you know. He, yeah. You can't, can't expect much. And like low key, I'm still living my life. Yeah, but what if he's like mamita? Mama says serio. Yeah. You're doing course, it up. Of course. What if he said you got to stop doing it? Oh, but he's like, but, but like, yeah, see? Mm. Was he the one that did it? Never mind. Yeah, I'm her sister wife. I mean, I'm her sister. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe <laughs> let's bleep that part out because I think they're going to know who we're talking about. But yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. So you're the type. <laughs> you look kind of have similarities. No, it's just so funny to <laughs> you me. You guys because... do the same profession a little bit? But she's bit. a legend. Oh, I love her. The whole time I was with him, I was like, fuck. You know, felt bad a little bit. Because I love her, too. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, I saw her. She was so fire. That's dope, man. I love that for you. Thank you. Wow, you just been so in love then, huh? You just, after the butt spread, you're just like, I'm everywhere with it. I'm telling you, my depression went out the door. Just been happy. She, she now you can go to prison without no worries. You're right. You know, yeah. you know, you know, that's like the prison pocket. But I don't want to go to prison. I'm not saying go to prison, <laughs> fool. I'm saying, like, if you do go to prison, like, it's not going to be like a, something that's never been in there before. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, hey, hide this drugs or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't right. know, Janet. You'll be okay. You'll be fine regardless. I'll be fine. Anyway, shout out our sponsors, Big Chief. <laughs> you feel me? We love Big Chief and so does Janet. Janet, here's some Big Chief. I know you get high a little Big bit. Chief. You love your Big Chief? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Shout out Big Chief. Big Chief, we love you. You can get them anywhere. Deliver straight to your door. Go to their website. You feel me? Big Chief Extracts. Their IG is in my bio. Please go press the link in my bio. Go tap in with Big Chief. Yeah, man. They got some dope stuff. Like, you feel me? This actually is one of my favorite packaging of all time. They're gummies. So. Ooh. You like these? Look at them. Okay. So, man, shout out Big Chief. Go tap in with them. We love them. They also have a new store in Sun Valley in, Calif- uh, in California, the A18. So go tap in in there. But yeah, shout out A18. Big Chief. We love him to death. I actually have an important news coming out with them very soon. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. I'm going to just tell you guys. I don't even know why I said it made it seem like it was a secret. I have my own strength coming out with Big Chief real soon. And I'm excited f- to give the guests that and give you guys that. So yeah, That's man. Fire. Direct yes. consumers, go get the Uzumaki with AD. Shout out Big Chief. We love you. Bow. But yeah, man, I'm excited for you. You're happy. I'm so happy. Like, I I can't even explain it. <laughs> I like how that's like the, the the one thing that, like, not therapy, not like going on hikes, not working <laughs> out, like, in the butt. It's what cured my depression. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, yeah. Yeah, shout out to you, man. What else has, has been going on in your very interesting life? What else? What else? Honestly, that was, like, one of the, the most interesting things in your life. The most, like... Eventful things, yeah. Basically. I love that for you, yeah. I mean, I did go to like Dallas too, like low key. I didn't really like the country, didn't really like country music. And then when I went, I was like, low key vibe. Did he learn how to square dance? Yes, yeah, so a cowboy danced with me and he was trying to teach me. And you but already not, have no rhythm. But I'm, yeah, I already don't really have <laughs> rhythm. And like low key, my dress was like really short. I was like, he's trying to like dip me, and I'm like, wait, I cannot. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you. Dress that's and all crazy. That, but it was like really fun. I like the cowboys now and country music. Are you? What's your favorite country song? The life is a highway. I don't know. I, I only know one song, and that's like. <laughs> oh, the Cars movie. 
How do you know that? Oh, are you into the this fucking guy right here? He loves like his fucking his like his he's not wearing them right now. He but he loves his his um his like his like Lanny McQueen Crocs. Like he's like a fan of the whole way. I love cars too. The cars right in Disney. Have you been? I haven't. I don't. I don't I'm not even a. I don't like kids, fool. You don't like kids? No. So I'm not gonna go to Disney here, but your fucking kids behind me just wah wah wah. Like shut the fuck up. But it's up. not like that. Mm. You just went to Disney. I just went to Disney. Yeah, with the girlies. Wow. How was that? It was fun. A whole lot of big ass asses just walking I'm around. I'm not huh? gonna lie. It was just hella ass. I seen the pictures. I was like. The titties were out. The asses. Were you guys out. were like doing too much in front of the kids, maybe. I don't think we were. I mean, we were just chilling. Were you guys we're... covered up or like the Yetis were out? I think my, I did have my titties out. Like like how you have them now or like way more? Basically, yeah. Wow. For the kids? Really, Janet? Okay, but I did it because we vlogged it. You vlogged what? Your titties out? <laughs> In Disneyland? Let's, let's, let's put that out there right now. Janet didn't do that on purpose. It just, she no, can't help it. No, it wasn't like this though. Like I was wearing like... Off of oh, like a, like, a, like a crop top? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You have you have a hunger that's super fine. Yeah. Which one? They're all fine. Le what a L. Liliana. <sighs> oh, my God. She's a baddie, yeah. She's a fucking baddie. Yeah. God, like, took his time. You want me to introduce you to her? You know what? I, I didn't know she followed me on IG, so I followed her back. Yeah. She actually bought merch off me. Shout out her. No, yeah. But she's so fine. like. Have her yeah, I'm, I mean, I, like, I kind of want to marry her, but I'm not going to have her on the part, too. That's, 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 that's like a very... That'd be double. Liana, come on here. Yeah. You have your wifey, you have my husband. Yeah, and then we could double date. We could double date. I don't know. I feel like the, the type of might be a little different. Like, she's... <laughs> I'll be seeing her. She's living it up. She, she got, I'm going to go live with her. Wait, who? Oh, Liliana. Liliana. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how you thought I was talking about you. You were like, ooh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's she goes back and forth from here to Vegas. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. she's... And yeah, she, she got the, like... what. It, the cars, the nice cars, the, I don't know the car names, but she has like... A nice fucking cars. Ferrari? The other one. Lambo. The other one. G-Wagon. The other one. <laughs> a very I nice know. car. I don't know, but every time she pulls up, it's just like a nice car. Oh, I'm trying to remember the name. Like a Porsche. Oh, it's a Porsche. Something like that. So she is, it's player. Oh yeah, she yeah. It's fire. She be whipping it. Yeah, I'm I'm down to be. Girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm 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 yeah. If I'm down to be her her, yeah, passenger prince. Stay yeah. at home, stay at home husband. I'll like quit all this shit, and just of whatever course. she needs. Like baby girl, you need me to go through the trash. You need me to set up the lights for your content right before you get home. Like, you need me to go drop you off at the airport in Vegas, pick you up here. You yeah. Me, like if you're done, like if you need me to go let you meet up with your side boo, I'm with it. That's how fine she is. No, yeah. I want her too. You want her too? Yeah. You gotta share. I her, might like. get her first. Mm. Let's see. I, I'm gonna ask you. What do you feel about this narrative that people think we're together all the I time? I love it. Are you a fan of it? Yeah. People think we should be together. I, I try to explain to my friends that you're like very like a busy woman. Somewhat busy. Always make time for people I love. Young Duna. But you yeah, my second husband. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> There's like this narrative where like people really think we're like in love with each other. Really? I never. I like mean, watch. People, people be like, oh, did he hit? Did he hit? I'm like, no. Oh, yeah, people. That's like no. whenever I post the question shit. No. There's always like one or two birds people that are like, how was Janet? I was like, fool. She's a fucking human, dog. Like, I feel like people think we link up and it's like, let's fucking do an interview. Like, that's not the way life works, you guys. We linked up that one time, remember, in the car? Yeah, but even then. Okay, Johnny, you looked at me and said that very well. You know what, you guys? Johnny shot her shot at me before. Did I? Did you? I got, I got you in and out, no? You got me in and out. Oh, no, I, I think I paid for that. Oh, no, you definitely <laughs> paid for that. <laughs> Let's not push this narrative even more. <laughs> but you know what? No, we were just kicking in the car. No, you got me ice cream. And I then got, I got you in and out. Yeah, see, very, it sounded like very, like, day vibes, huh? It kind of was a little bit, but I was like. And then we got, you got me a Casamigos bottle, and we got drunk together in okay, the Okay, Janet, you're like, <laughs> Janet, you're making this, like, nerd. By the way, we were, <laughs> Janet's like, we, you, I, by the way, she picked me up. So she picked me up. Let's just break I'm it down. I'm always down to pick anyone up. Yeah, so Janet was like, I'll pick you up. Let's go out. And I was like, yeah. bet. And then we went to go get ice cream. 
And yeah. then we... Um, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. And then I really had to use the bathroom. We went to In-N-Out. Yes, we went to In-N-Out. And then we ate In-N-Out. No, no, we ate ice cream. And it was like, it was cool. It was cool ice cream. And then we went to go drink a little bit. We sipped a little bit. I think we sipped Casamigos and like we Red Bull. We drank the whole bottle. Did we finish the whole bottle? Yes. But it was like a <laughs> tiny one. It was like, it wasn't like me and Janet finished the whole bottle. And then... um. And then no, um, it was funny because remember, like you got the bottle, and then I found a buzz bomb. <laughs> oh, okay, so Jan is a fucking alcohol. Okay, Jan. <laughs> and then I was like, Jenna, you got me a buzz bomb. <laughs> and I was like, no. And you're like, oh, I think this was mine. And then she grabbed it, opened it, and chugged it. And I'm like, Jan, what are you? This was this was before the butt thing, so she was still depressed. So, <laughs> yeah. she, so okay. I was going through it. So. Technically, Janet took me on a date, fools. But yes, <laughs> she was like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm chilling." You're like, "Let's link up." I was like, "Bad." I did basically take you on a date. And then we want to go kick it, and it just Andres, the story gets crazy because we're no view. <laughs> <laughs> we but did go to we went over view. He took me to a whack one, and I was like, "We need a better you, view." You, you, you did say, which one was the first view? I don't remember, but I was like, "Dude, no, this is not a view." Yeah, I, I thought it was a view, and I was like, oh, "Maybe this was not it." And then we went to a better view where you kind of see all of Hollywood. Yeah. It, 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 was, cool. it was cool. It was cool. The second view the was The second view better. was cool. But yeah, we're going to go get ice cream. And if you don't know, I'm a little lactose. I have to shit real bad. I'm like, Jan, I'm going to go to the crib real quick. And then we finna go to the liquor store. I didn't know that. You're lactose? A little bit. A, a little, little bit. bit. The ice cream wasn't bad, though. The ice cream was cool. But we want to go get a we wanna go get a, a, yeah. a, a little Casa Frico, Red Bull. And then we ate. And then, and then Janet's like one of those types. I've kicked it with Janet before. And we ate fucking Jack in the Box. Because you were hungry. A yeah. long time ago, remember? Hira. Yes, she yes. Was there too, yeah. yeah. So um we went to go do that and then yeah, we we kicked it and just chilled and just talked about life and shit. We bumped a lot of EDM. We were bonding. It was bonding. We were bonding, we were bonding time. We talked about like the f I was gonna say our future. We wanna be DJs. We wanna be we DJs. We were like, let's be a DJ. Cause I bought my equipment already. You did you buy it? Yeah, it it hasn't came yet, but it's on the way. It's on the way, though. Yeah, but we were, I remember we were talking, like, yeah, what we're if like, we did a little duo? Yeah, what yeah, if we we're thinking about be, becoming DJs as a team. As a team. How successful do you think that would be? Very successful, right? That's what we said, too. Yeah. We're like, full week. I just need to learn how to do it. You already, like, learned a little bit. What would our group name be? Literally DJ, Duno, and Janet. Yeah. Nah, it's kind of whack. It has um, to be something, like, shorter. I don't know. Shorter than two letters? Well, D and J. That's that's Janet. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, Janet. That's two letters. The letter D and the letter J. What would be our like name? I don't know. What if it was like sexy besties? I could rock with that. Or like future couple. I'm already married. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could be your side, Janet. It's okay. But yeah, yeah. Second husband. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for we gotta think of a name, you know, and, and, and become a duo. Yeah, I can't think of like one on spot, but if it comes to me. How many bitches would it be fucking if we become the I'm not saying like together, but I'm saying like like We could do that. We could fuck bitches together? You never had threesome? I have. Amazing. Two girls or two Yes, two <laughs> fuck. I haven't had a threesome with another guy. You How know what? That? You know what? Threesomes have to be one of the best things ever invented in life. I tell my homies all the time, like, obviously, I'm blessed with what I do for a living. So, you know, it just, it just started happened. a little more bolder and it just happened. Mm -hmm. But, bro, an amazing. You're telling me two of you want to suck my dick at the same time? Pfft, what? Yes. Super hot. Love yeah. it. You feel me? It's a vibe. It, it like, it, yeah, it's different. Have you had one? I've only had, like, with a couple. Like a boy and a girl. And they were a couple. But you've never had two guys in you? Almost. At Whoa. Coachella. They tried it. And why didn't you? You weren't down? They just weren't cute enough. I was like, nah. But yeah, I've... I've but they tried it. Like, they really, like, they took me to the hotel. I was already in the bed. And I was like, wait. No, I can't do this. Did you fuck at least one of them? No. Oh, the blue boss must have sucked so bad. And then one of them had a, a girlfriend, too. And I was like, that's, that's kind of messed up. Mm, okay, I see that. No, yeah, um, yeah, I love him. I've had w you one. You do it often? I haven't done it in a while, but the first I've had, I've had a four. Damn. And it was a fucking blast. 
No, four. Yeah, let me see. Yes. Actually, I'm lying. I did. I did do a threesome where it was two girls and a guy. Yeah. That's a foursome. Two girls. And a it was. Guy. It was you and two other girls and one guy. Okay, maybe. Maybe not. Cause I did one where it was like it was a boyfriend and a girlfriend, like their boyfriend and girlfriend. And so what a couple. So I was a threesome, it's three of you guys. Yeah, and then I did one where it was just another girl, and then another guy, but they weren't a couple. They're all still threesomes, Janet. Just it goes based off how many people are there, not oh, like okay, okay. not the status of their relationship. Okay, I was like just if me, to... you, and Liliana, which would be so amazing. Maybe we should pitch it sometime. If that, that's still a threesome, even though none of us are dating. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. But I think I prefer when it's like... A couple? A boyfriend-girlfriend, yeah. Why? I don't know. So should I get a girlfriend? Not you, but like somebody else, and then you could be like the third person? I don't know. It just feels it feels like better for some reason. I don't know. Mm. Maybe like the rush of it? Yeah, like the girl wants to share her man so bad, it's like... Oh, okay. I feel that. Yeah. How, did, how does this couple pitch it to you? At first, it was supposed to be just me and the girl. And then he joined. And then he came. And I was kind of like, eh. Like, cause like, I never like, I don't know. I didn't really like plan to like have the guy there, but then we all like low key got drunk and we were just talking about it and it just happened. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah, man. the beauty of it is when it just happens. For when it's unplanned or even when it's planned, I plan them. Like, same, I put them in a group chat, Janet. Oh, that's you how you gotta like fucking that? bro. I'm food daddy. I'm gonna show you. Like it's it's viral. Like here's a group chat. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. Like it's. Do you it's, tell them what positions too. Or? Um, do I tell them what positions? You know what? It just happens. I think it just happens. Let me yeah. show you. Let me show you. But you know what? Like. But the, I recorded mine. For like OnlyFans. Yeah, I recorded my threesome. Did you upload it? Yeah. How was it? It was really good. People really liked it. Look, hold up, I'm gonna show you. I gotta find it first. But dude, funniest fucking thing in the world. Like, it was like Liddy. I was like, hell yeah. But look, like, like you were in the group chat. Wait, what? <laughs> and then look. Wait, gets... you guys did set position. No, they did. I did it. I didn't set any. <laughs> Look, look, look. Guys, look, I didn't say any. I'm just agreeing to the positions. We can definitely do that. Oh, my God. That's, I never tried that before. You that was that? legendary. Legendary. You did that? Yes. Before me? Yes, and this. Holy. Oh, my God. Not the whole. That's crazy. You I just, need to start doing that. You just got to live life, I need dog. to plan out my threesome. And you know what? After that, that changed my life forever. Cured your depression, too? It didn't. I was in the press. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like, like, food. the threesome was lit. Like, it was lit. Yeah. And I'm not here, like, I've had millions of them. Like, I know every secret of sex. Like, no, fool. But, yeah. like. Yeah. Have you done it? Like. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you were out. I was like, <laughs> Janet, shout out all the gay homies. I just don't go that way. You know what? I almost did. What stopped you? It just, it, like, I feel like, like, we're like when you did yours, were you a little drunk? Yeah. Like, I wasn't, like, like it was kind of more like of, like, like, I don't know. I just got, like, a, like a fucking, like, I just snapped out of it. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. But, like, I ate ass before. Okay. Yeah, eating ass was what cool. What about getting yours ate? No, I'm, I'm, I don't think I've, like, fully, you know what? I have a different homies that have different opinions on it. I just Why? haven't done it. that's, like. <sighs> yeah. It's really? just, like. Some girl offered it to me like not too long ago, and I was like, Ugh. like I don't like, I don't know. Really? I didn't do it. You think? I think you should do it. Do guys really like it? Yeah, my ex loved it. <laughs> Always. <laughs> he would ask me to do it. Okay, but he's not like in fours, right? Sometimes. Whoa! <laughs> like sucking it from the back, like the dick from the back. Okay, like, and then you just that. go up. <laughs> it became a fucking horny pod. Andres gonna have to bleep a lot of crazy words. Just bleep it. Yeah, but yeah, no, I haven't done it. You should do it. Yeah, I don't know. It might cure your depression because that's how I felt about. It. I was like, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can. Do and then it, it happened, and then de depression. Well, for, why do you think I'm depressed? 
I'm happy, dog. I just got a new apartment. <laughs> like, I like how Janet's like, yeah, get your ass safe, fool's gonna kill your shit. <laughs> like, fool. I feel it, though. I get what you say. He's trying to help you out. No, no, I, 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 I'm, hey. Yeah. If I were to tell you, Janet, you know what? I want you to be the person. To eat your ass? Yes. Fuck it. I'll probably take you up on it. I, I, I gotta set it through, talk to my team. We gotta record it though. For what? <laughs> I don't wanna record getting my ass ate, Janet. Why can't we just do it like, why can't we just do it for like the story? Like, Janet's, no, Jan, Janet's like, I wanna record everything. That's crazy. Do you ever have sex normally? All the time. Like, I'm just, I feel like you're like, I record everything. Like, no, I'm a shower, record it. I usually, no, yeah, I have sex normally, like, yeah, but why not record it? It's your first time. Are you uploading everything? Like, on yeah, I actually, like, lately I haven't, like, been doing, like, boy girl though, just all solo, shit? just all solo or with like other girls, mm. just not really, like. I feel like I'm picky. For the threesome make you yeah. a lot of money? Yeah. Like, Adam and Lena want me to go on Plug Talk, but I, I just feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous to do it. To, like, take, like, because the threesome was kind of more, like, at your pace. Yeah. And then the other shit is just, like, a lot more, Yeah, like, like I feel like, because, you know, with, like, Plug Talk, it's like a whole, it's like this, no? Like, it's like a whole team. It's working. definitely, like, a more professional setting. Yeah, and I just feel like I, I don't know, like, if I can actually do it. Would you actually be able to do any type of, like, professional? I was thinking about it, like, honestly. Like, I've been thinking about it. Like, fully going through with it? But I just think I, I'm i too, like, I get too, like, anxious about it. Like, I don't know. Mm. Like, I freak myself out, out about it. Because I never, like, really have sex in front of people. And when you go into, like, professional, like... It's, Cut! Run it again. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, I had to do, like, I did, like, this gunna thing, this, like... This year, and even that, I was so nervous to do it. Like, I had to, it was, like, for Gunna's, like, tour. We had to do, like, visuals for his tour. And they wanted me to get fully naked in front of, like, 40 different guys. And I just physic I just couldn't do it. Like, the, the like, kind of like the, yeah, I, I mean. They, and that's not even important. I was just, like, get naked. I was like, no, I'm good. I'm, I mean, good. shit, they're professional. Whoever's in that industry is professionals for a reason. Yeah, and I just feel like it's not really me. Yet, maybe in the future, I don't know. But wow. right, as of right now, I'm. I want to do the Adam and Lena thing, but mm -hmm. I don't know, like, if I'm ready. I mean, I feel like it just gotta make sense for you. I've, if you feel like whenever you're ready, go. You just, yeah. just in general, but like. I used to like. I used to like be like, oh, but never. But now I'm like, maybe I could. Maybe I could. Hey, people don't understand. You could change your answers within like. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, live it up, Jen. I just feel like people who do. Too like they're so happy. <laughs> You're just like yeah, they just wake up fucking <laughs> no issues in the world. You know who I feel like is just happy all around Kazumi. That's what I'm saying. I, feel like Kazumi, I see her. Kazumi walks see... around with like a rainbow around her. She's just like hey, money for you, money for you. No, let's fucking let just. That's what I'm saying. Like she does whatever she wants, and she she looks so happy doing it. She really inspires. She definitely me. looks happy. She makes a great marketer, by the way. Great. No, yeah, very great. Great marketer. Who'd you have the threesome with that you recorded? Her name's Tiana. She's like this blonde girl and her boyfriend. I don't know if you, maybe I'll show you a picture of her, who she is. Yeah, let me see a picture of her. She's super bad. How wow, bad. Janet's living it up. Tell Janet. When's your birthday, Janet? It's this month. Wow, it is. Yeah. What are you planning on? Um, this is her. I'm celebrating. Um. So my birthday's a little. Oh, she's bad. She's bad. She's so bad. No, yeah. Damn. Um, damn. Dog, she's fucking fine, Andres. Yeah, I was so happy to do it with her. It was such a great time. How does that work when you guys do content? You split like the content, or you keep? We just like whatever we record, we share like. I'll post it on my page. She posts it on her page, and we make money regardless. Like we don't really like. Yeah, that's. You, you get me. Is she yeah. the one you went with Ibiza with? No, 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 no. Talk. She's no, so. No, but I but I did this threesome right before Ibiza, like literally right before. Dog, she's bad. 
<laughs> I'm like on a love with her. She's on. She she has a boyfriend. Fucking lucky bastard. No, yeah. Yeah, shout out you. Shout out me. Where'd you guys uh, have the threesome at their house? In my house. Wow. And you guys just did it up. Yeah, so at first, like, we, me and her were just doing content. Like, we were, we were like, doing stuff together. And then he joined in. And then it's so funny because, like, it, we went to our bed. Well, my bed. And, yeah. then, like, we just did it there in my bed. How did, he, how did he join in? He just walks in naked, like, with his dick out, like, hey. Suck he it. was watching us actually, so he was just like watching us on the couch, and then I think like we just started dancing on him, and then that's when it like happened. Yeah, shout out him. What can we? Does he have a name? Yeah, he has a name, but I don't. I forgot his name. Okay. Oh uh, well, shout out him. We're maybe in a fuck Janet in here, bro. She's bad. The other girl's bad as fuck. No, yeah, it was nice. such a good time, and ever since then, I'm like, I love, I love threesomes. Yeah, they're amazing. You, if, if, if you guys, to all my fans, especially if you have like a girlfriend and a baby mama and you're not together with your baby mama, pitch it to them. You might get, you might, get, you might be single yeah, out there if I they think, don't I agree. But if they do agree, if you're watching this interview with your baby mama, hey, baby mama, you should definitely have a threesome with him. And if, and if, if, I just think people need to be more open to ideas. Like people need to stop being so closed minded. You would have been on to have a threesome with your ex? Mm, that's what, that's different though. I don't know. He didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve uh, it. Hey, did he ever ask you for one? Yeah. Well, who, Yahira? No, not with Yahira, but I don't even think he had like a specific person. He was just mind. like, hey, threesome. But, but I was like, okay, if we're going to do threesome, two guys. And oh. then he was like, no, two girls. And I'm like, why two girls? Like, we would like argue about it. Because then I'm like, if it's going to be a threesome, I want, I want the attention. In mm. that relationship, like I want the attention. I hate that like theory. Like you're still gonna get the attention. But yeah, he was. He, he just. But yeah. One. He just didn't deserve one, so I never gave him one. Okay, I feel that. You get me? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Um. But I, but uh, yeah, more people should be open to it. Yeah, like I said, if you have a girlfriend and you also have a baby mama and they're cool with each other, definitely yeah. pitch the idea. Pitch it. Like I said, don't. But if if you become single and they leave you for even pitching the idea. But it could go south too, so you gotta be careful. That's what I'm saying. That's maybe yeah. a thin line. But let's say like your baby mama's like, okay, but when we take a trip to like somewhere mm -hmm. with a random girl that nobody knows, a random girl's better than yeah, like yeah, because there's no emotions involved. No emotions involved, mm. and it's like they can have fun with the person together. You yeah, know exactly. See, love the way you think, Janet. <laughs> love the way you think. Um, yeah. Enough about sex. Okay. Um, yes. Which favorite color, Janet? Is it black? Huh? Is it black? Is your favorite color black? Favorite color? I don't really think color? I have a favorite color, but yeah, maybe black. I feel like it's always like every time I see you're like black shoes, black fit, but that also could be your depression. <laughs> what depression? Right, the butt. Shout out the butt. <laughs> um, no, but I, I do, I do like black clothes. Like I do. Like yeah. That. Favorite do. dish. Like food. Yeah, I like favorite food. I don't even know. Sushi. Sushi, guys. I love sushi. You, fuck it. What's it called? Do you have like a favorite spot? Yeah, there's a spot in Topanga Mall. I forgot what it's called. Okay. But it's like a new, it's like a new spot in Topanga Mall. I need to take mm, you. Okay, yeah, so we gotta fire. go. We gotta go. You pick me or like up. Like Nobu, Nobu, so fire too. You I haven't been to Nobu. I gotta go. Too. You want me to take you to Nobu? Yeah, take me to Nobu. <laughs> Janet, just my ask. My birthday, my birthday's coming yes, up. Yes, but Janet, if you want, if you want me to be your boyfriend, I'll be your boyfriend. Just ask me. You could be the second husband. The, okay, the second husband. No, you know what? I'm okay <laughs> with not being your husband. I'm okay with being like your your like side from this certain person. Okay. Okay, cool. That's cool. Perfect. Okay. So um, no, but yeah, let's do Noble. Let's do Noble. You know what? I'll take you to Noble for your birthday. Hell yeah, let's do it. It has to be the Malibu one. Or I'm not going. Malibu or I'm not going. Malibu one? Or I'm not going. What the fuck did you get me for my birthday? <laughs> Exactly. But yes, I'll take you to the Malibu one. Okay. We can do it up. Um, I'm going to be 23. Wow. 23. The Jordan year. My Jordan year. It's a beautiful time. It's I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Are for you planning birthday. like a like a trip or just like a home stuff? I want it. Like my birthday is right after Thanksgiving. So like I'm going to be in LA. I don't know. I might throw a party. I don't know. Mm. I, haven't, I haven't really decided yet. But like 
I do want to do a birthday trip too. Do you want to like pre celebrate your birthday? I yeah. Have a, so if I have a party that I throw once a month, we have Phoenix Flex. It's at the new spot. Boom, it's booming. We have Drake Sinatra DJing your worst. It's on a Friday if you want to come pre celebrate. What, what day? On November 17th. Okay. Come celebrate. Yeah. Just come get drunk, come get litty, we'll take care of you. No, yeah, mine's the 28th. Oh, literally like the week right yeah. after. Yeah, okay. So it's Thanksgiving's the 23rd or the 24th. Or 24th, like 24th. Uh-huh. And then, I don't know, I think I, I kind of wanted to throw a party, but I don't know. That's a lot of work. Yeah, well, you c- for, come celebrate it with us. Slap it on. It's November yeah, 17th. Yeah, slap it on. Yeah, we have that. And then... um. I saw you at the club. I just remember that. That that one club, like this, like in... In Hollywood. Yeah, remember? You remember? You I was like, remember. yeah, I do remember. I do you're, remember. You're really, really I do good. remember because all the homies were like with their jaws open, like <laughs> thirsty motherfuckers. And I'm like, what's up, girl? And you were like, what's you up? You kissed me, I remember. <laughs> like on the forehead or something. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. I was like, I kissed you in the mouth? But yes, I did. I was like, Janet. For, I'm like a lover when I'm drunk. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, because you never kissed me on the forehead like that. That's I was very, like, it's very like intimate when someone kisses me on the forehead. Yeah. I kiss you your forehead. For, for, for what is it? Now you say? like, oh, dude, I love him. For you, my son, I kiss you in your forehead. <laughs> no, you were really drunk. Like, you were like slurring. Like, you're like. Bro, I was fucked. You know, I was, you know, I knew I was fucked up because I was fucking macking it with some high nine in the back with everybody. Yeah. Wow, and it wasn't me. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> what should we title this? Should we end this video with me and Janet pretending we're going to kiss and then we don't kiss and the video ends? You guys, I feel like Janet has a crush on me and she's the one I admit it. No, because you did kiss me that day. You kissed me on the forehead and then you went to go kiss another girl. <laughs> <laughs> they was kissing the girl before and after, maybe. Janet, yeah. why do you keep looking at me like that? Is this something you want to get out of your chest? Huh? Yes, Janet, we could get be together. But you don't do it. But, like... <laughs> Janet, do you have okay, okay, let's let's just make this funny and spicy. Janet, have you ever had a crush on me? Maybe. Maybe. What was like your favorite thing about me when you, at the moment when you were, or maybe even if you're still feeling it out, where you were like, damn, I kinda wanna be with Duna. When you bought me the Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Janet. To his Casamigo. <laughs> literally, <laughs> Casamigo. If you're watching right now, you're probably wondering, Duno, why did you stop the interview? Let me tell you why. Because of Price Picks. Shout out Price Picks, you feel me? You could use code Duno, D O K N O W, Duno, Duno, to win some money, you feel me? You feel me? Play some. Just have fun, you feel me? Price Picks always has the good deals. 100% deposit with $100, you could with some fool. You could get rich off watching this interview and using the Corduno. Fool, you ever want to get rich? I want to get rich. You want to get rich? I want to get rich. So use prize picks and use the Corduno. You could, you feel me? Go for the Dodgers. You could go for the Astros. Or you could go for San Diego. Fuck both these teams, though. You feel me? You can always go for the L.A. Dodgers, the L.A. Kings, the Rams, the Chargers, the Lakers. Use price pick. Use Corduno. Let's go. Janet, no, because let I... them know how you shot your shot in the text message. I just remember inviting you to. No, I'm not talking about that time. I'm talking about a whole other time. What other time? I don't remember. Let me look to the text. Go through it. Cause Janet, I... are you in love with me, Loki? I feel like you're in love with me and you never want to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm trying to like think what DM you're talking about. I'm I, I probably send you hearts and shit. <laughs> I'll admit it. to that. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Chad is like, fuck you, fool. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Did I ever see? Janet, so do you have a crush on me, yes or no? I do have love for you. That's not what I asked you. Have a husband. Remember, have a husband. <laughs> yeah, shout out to depression. <laughs> Janet's in My love guy. with me, you guys, and she don't want to admit it. It's okay, Janet. I'm in love with you too. I know you are. We're in love with each other. Yeah, we're in love with each other. 
Shout out love. That's the answer. We both love each other. That's what we love each other. Yeah. That took like a wild turn. It was like a simple question, and Janet was like, do not kiss my roommate. But, but you did. But, and, but and, you and, did. And for, you said it in um at, when we it, did the No Jumper thing. You said it there. You mm-hmm. don't remember? You remember that? I did. Hey, low key, that was a dope ass first time kicking it. When you came to my house and kissed my roommate? <laughs> Jan, I was talking about when we went to the Lilas and then we went to that big ass club and then we ate Jack in the Box. Oh, we went to Highlight Room. Highlight Room, Highlight Room. Honestly, I, I was fucked up. Dog, I got fucked up. That on TikTok. That podcast. Have, you seen, have you seen that TikTok where you and your high are dancing and I'm just in the corner like this? No. Did not see that. Well, we filmed that then? No, 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 no. We filmed that not way before. But, um. No, but that night, was, I remember on the podcast, I, I was drinking wine and tequila. Why the fuck were we drinking wine? I AD, think I brought AD. it. Oh, I think I brought it. You, brought the, you brought the wine? Yeah, because I remember I came from San Diego and I had a wine bottle in my car and I was like, fuck it, I'll bring it. Oh, wine gets me fucked up. No, I was fucked. We went to Delilah's and I was like, I don't even remember. I eat chicken tenders at Delilah's. Uh, the, their chicken tenders are fire. Fire. So fire. Shout out AD and Big Chief. I think that's who we're with. Yeah, shout out AD and Big Chief. <laughs> Um, if you ever get married with your husband, where do you want to get married? Maybe where he's from. Okay. That's a good I I love it there. Have you been? I haven't. You need to go. I need to, I, you need to come with me to, to where I travel. It's so fun. You don't you promised me all these things. I never got any of them. Can yeah. I have some Gucci slides? Gucci slides. I'm gonna just start sending you stuff that I want. Just so you can buy them for me. We'll like, see. Like homie shit. Homie shit. Um, I'll buy you a fridge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a fridge. I like how you're like, I'll buy you. Yeah, you guys, I still don't have a fridge. I gotta get a fridge. I've been living here for like two weeks. Like, I'll help you out. I'll buy you a fridge. No, no, no. I, I, I already bought the fridge. I already ordered it. <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm down for like some house lights. Oh, some slippers. Some slippers. With my face on it. We could have slippers <laughs> with your face on it. <laughs> If you could have your face anywhere in the world, where would you have it? Like, what do you mean? Like, just your face, like a... I don't know. Hmm. I would want mine at every liquor store in the world. Drink safely. Oh, that's cute. Or like, I can imagine that. Yeah. I can imagine that. I don't even know. In every guy's bathroom? No, not that. No. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. Favorite fast food? In and out. Ah, you know I, what? I could go for some In and Out, low key. In and Out's like kind of mid to me. Okay, a little bit. Like the patties we thin. The fries. Right? There's the fries for oh, me. I love the fries. You gotta eat them right away. Right away. I've, 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 I've ate cold In and Out before drunk. You know what? I hate canes. I don't like Canes at all. Mm, don't you know take, don't take me to Canes. Don't. Take Are you a fan of Canes? See, it's not good. Who? Mm, no. Like the only reason why they get um, traffic is because it's the only spot that's open late at night. Yeah. What he said. They close at 3 a.m.? I feel that. Favorite type of taco? Asada tacos. Oh, it's like the simple shit? I like street tacos, yeah. No, I know that. What I'm saying is like the like the type of meat. I saw that. Mmm. Mmm. I had some yesterday. Gas. That shit comes through like when you're out so anywhere good. else, but like unless LA. you're in Mexico and or LA. I've never been to Mexico. You never been to Mexico? You've been everywhere but your homeland. My Racist. homeland is El Salvador. I oh, went to El Salvador. It's El Salvador. Whatever. El but Salvador. I, but I've been there before. <laughs> to El to El Salvador. But never been wow, to I forgot Mexico. you were Salvi, fool. Yeah. Do you know how to dance merengue? Oh, you don't even know how to twerk. I'm going to ask you if you know how to dance merengue. Do you know how to twerk? Maybe. You told me that you didn't know how to twerk. When did I say that? When we're having Because I was talking about dancing. I was like, oh, I've danced bachata. Ooh, but you were like, no, you're, like, I, you're, like, you're, like, you're like, I have no rhythm. It's not that I don't have rhythm. Maybe I just don't have rhythm. Yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> I tried to, I don't know. I do, I can twerk, yeah. 
twerk. Is it like is it like crazy twerking? Like on like let me spend let me hunt. No. What are you singing? That one song that's booming right now. The water song. The water song, great fucking song. I was like, what are you singing? You know, if you know, I saw I'm her and, twerking to that song. Why not? People twerk to that song. What song are you twerking to? What what is Janet twerk to? Let me think. I don't even know. I like that Barbie song. Oh, by Jane. Dog, I'm that I love can't. That song. Bro, I can't like like my favorite thing to say <laughs> is like, hello, motherfucker. Hello, mo- right? It's Cause lit. what did she say? Was some motherfucker Lord. I'm a bad little bitch and I stuff like a Barbie. His lips. I, I don't know. What's up, motherfucker? Hello, motherfucker. And it's like the most simplest words ever. And it's just like, I'm like, It's oh. fire, huh? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm, you know what? You I, need to get Blueface on here. Him, yeah. him and his girl might break shit in my house. No, no, no. Jaden's like, chill. It's Krishan. Krishan. I kind of want to get Krishan on here. And just have her punch on my wall so, and then have her sign it. Yeah. Like, you know, like if she socks this, have her sign around it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fire. that's vibes. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, I do you, that. You have her break your house, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of, like, getting, like, a box, like, a big-ass, like, you know, like a, like, kind of where you, like, kind of like a fish tank. And just having memorabilia of things that, like, people have me on here, like, that I have on here will give me. Like, what would you give me? Were well, you going to say some crazy shit you were? Uh, I just, you know, I was like, I was like, I'm going to ask you this question, and I hope she goes, like. I'll give you a buzz ball. A buzz ball. Yeah, but you gotta sign it. You gotta sign it. Of course, yeah. What flavor okay, do you a buzz want? bomb. Okay. What flavor do you want? Mm, what which one did he drink on our date? The I red think, one. No, 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 no. It was the yellow one. The mm. the, the spicy mango. How do you? I, I you sure? I think it was. And by the way, you guys, she drank that while it was fucking hot. Like that. The put. She was like, "Don't know you buy me a buzz bomb? Oh, you're so thoughtful. funny. You know, I like him." <laughs> and I'm like, "I didn't buy you that." I'm like, "I got this Casamigo for us." And you were like, oh. And no, you were like. Because I really thought you bought it for fool, me. I want, like, bro, those I really, shit. I really thought. You know what it was? That like, we were having a conversation right before about him. And you were like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, bro, those shit give me like a crazy hangover. Yeah. I just I just randomly had a buzz ball in my car. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know how that happens. I usually drink them, but. I love driving your car, by the way. I'd be like, uh, you'd be like. You look good driving my car. Yes. You fool, stop flirting good. with me, fool. <laughs> <laughs> but, mean, but 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 driving your whip is dope though. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, cause I for like a split second it's mine. I'm like smashing on the shit too. Janet's like, do no, just be careful, please. But Janet's also a terrible fucking driver. No, I'm not. No one has ever said that about me. You told me yourself. No. You know what? I brought Janet to the hood though. We were eating ice cream in the parking lot of some random spot. No, I don't have my license though, but that's I, what me either though. But I have I'm good at driving. I've never been in an accident, never got pulled. And you know, you know it's funny that you were like, Yeah, don't know. Um, I have to tell you something. I don't have my license. And I was like, Janet, <laughs> me fucking either. And you were oh, like, we were both you, like, oh shit. You're like, hey, we're like, Gas amigos. Gas amigos, literally. We See, were- you guys don't fucking do what we do because one, we shouldn't be driving without a fucking <laughs> license. Two, we sh- or drinking Casamigos, but we were we were safe. We we, we were all. Oh, you know what? I put you on, cause remember we're drinking. I was drinking it with mineral water, and you were like, "You do that," and I was like, "Yeah, it keeps me a lot more sober." Yeah, you're right. You're and right. We drank waters right before, but and and it wasn't like a big ass bottle. It was like the little the person little mini one. Yeah, but it was, person. it was low key. We got drunk. Yeah, we got we got busted. We got so. drunk, and we definitely talked about becoming DJs. We definitely gotta do that. I think that'd be like a dope thing to do. Once I have it, I'll come over and we'll practice. We got to just do it up. And now that I have, like, my own space, we could, like, literally be here, like... You live alone? Literally, yeah. Oh, fine. That's... I, I feel... It's, like, a lot of relief. Like, now I got yeah. my, like, the way I want shit. Your own privacy. Literally, I'm walking in here butt naked. Ass out. It is what it is. Period. Me too. Period. I you walk around like, butt naked? Yeah. Just everywhere? But I have, like, big windows. And sometimes I'm like, can they see me? I don't know. Do you have, like, the big-ass curtains for them? I do, but, like, I don't like doing the whole thing, so I just, like... Is your old it. spot, like, your new spot? No, not at all. you never been to my new spot, huh? No, I know you told me that you were, like, ah, oh, I kind of regret getting this spot. We, we, we. You went to my old spot. No, 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 I went to your old spot, but what I'm saying is... This new you... spot. I, I like my new spot, I just... The people around me. Mm, oh, yeah, you did say that, you did, you I did too. like, kind of weird neighbors. Ah. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. But I, I like it. And I'm probably going to move, though. 
Are you are are you like it's time for a house or not yet? I think it's time for a house, Janet. I want to, but I just don't have like I have commitment issues. Like it's hard. Oh, I feel like it's hard and, to and, and you know what? And you know one, what? One place. And you know what? That's totally normal because I want to get a house by next year, but I'm scared that like I'm just getting the house just to say I got a house. Exactly. Because like, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, like I went through like the whole getting a real estate agent, looking at houses, getting getting into escrow. Can I have your readable, please? I was literally going to have a house, but the last day that I could pull out, I pulled out. It just didn't feel right. And and it's more like of a... a you it's want, just... Do you want a readable? No. You good? Yeah, actually, I'll take one. Uh, sugar-free. But yeah, like, I just felt like I the commitment, the commitment to something for that many 100%. Years 100%. just scared me. And then I was just like, you know what? I feel like I would just be happier if I can just up and leave whenever I want. And honestly, yeah. it, you know, a house would like would be cool, but it's just a lot of work too. Mm. A house is is so much like money you have to invest to it, you know. And like it's just me too. Like it's not like I have a husband and kids yet, you know. Mm. Like I, it's just me. Yeah, and like my, hopefully soon. It's just dual me. citizenship. It's just me and my dog. Like I don't need a whole five bedroom house with a nice. You get me? Like I don't yeah. need it yet. I think the more I see it, it's kind of more like we're in, we're both in a position where we're blessed. You know what I'm saying? Of to where like this shit could end tomorrow. Right. So what? So like while we have it, why not do it? But also get what you're saying. Like, the commitment, like, for me, my, like, new setup is, like, a new step in life to where, like, okay. Yeah. Let me see how this is for a year, and then I'll see what, and if in, in, in a year I'm ready to do that. Yeah. Then I'm down for that. Yeah. And I see it more, like, for my family. That's kind of how I see it. And I know you do, too. Yeah. I know you're, like, well, very, you're, like, very family-orientated yeah, to where, like, yeah, but, yeah. But I think it's different for my family, too, because everyone in my family has a house already. Like, my parents have a house. Mm. It'd be different if they didn't have a house. And the and word, then, where and you'll be, like, more... Yeah, yeah. And then also, too, like, I don't want to live with my family. Like, I'm kind of, like, I like my own space. I'm an adult. Like, I don't want to buy a house and then have my family move in. You get me? 100%. So, I, for me, it just didn't work out. So, yeah. But... You know, yeah, I'm, I'm, house, yeah, I kind of want one just more for like, so my nieces and nephews could have a place to go all the time, like, yeah, like oh, like let's say, yeah. anything, like my sisters could get into it with their mans or like, whatever financial situation they're in or whatever. If anything happens, see, they have. That's, a, see, that's different. Yeah, like for me, like I don't they have, have a house. I don't have nieces and nephews, like. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they have like a house to go to to where mm -hmm. like, and it technically it'll be for my mom. Technically it'll be my mom's. You know, so my mom would be like. No, yeah, I would, in that case, I would say do it 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, your situation, if it feels right, then it feels right. But mine, just it just didn't make sense. I feel that. At all. Like, I'm single as fuck. I don't need a big house. You're married, remember? Oh, yeah, I'm married. With a big <laughs> <house>. <laughs> yes, man. My husband. How, are you planning on doing anything other, like, business-wise, other than what you already do? Like, Honestly, I want to get back into streaming. I don't know if you saw me streaming before, but like I was doing that and then I stopped. I remember one time I texted you and you were like, I'm in the hot tub right now, let me call you back. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I was streaming the hot tub yeah, a lot. I remember that. But then I got banned. Well, Janet, your tits can't be out everywhere. But it wasn't because my tits were out. What did you get banned for? I got banned because I was twerking. Oh. Ah, I, yeah, was like I was twerking for my audience and then. Uh, you know, you can't do sexually suggestive things, so then they banned me three days, and then... You twerked again? No, no, no. So then, the, during the three-day ban, they thought that I made a second account. Like, they, there was this other account with a similar username to mine, mm. and they thought that was me. And, and this was Twitch. And then, but it wasn't me. It was Twitch. And it wasn't me. I tried to explain to them. I'm like, that's not my account. Yes, it has a similar username, but it's not my account. And they just complete me. Like, I'm surprised they me. didn't go based off like the IP address, right, Andres? That's so weird. They're very corrupt, and it's fucked up because I was doing really, really good. Like, you know what? I'm gonna start streaming again. You should come on my show. No, I'll go on your let's shit. let's run it up. Like that's where the bag is. Let's streaming do it. is where the bag is. And I was thinking, like, with this whole DJ setup, like, I want to DJ. Bro, if we really become a DJ, bro, I was streaming, and then people can watch us learn and like. For we become a DJ, like, yeah, let's do it. Like, what you know? Yeah, fool. I'm thinking right now, like, if we become a DJ team. We really gotta think of a name to become like a but DJ what kind group. Of music do you want to DJ? You like? We'll do like house and techno, right? I want to do like all genres. No, a we, could, bit. we could do R and B, all that. We could do all that. Mm -hmm. Dun, he used to think that I was the only one. 
Like Ichiko? Yeah. Well, me, like me. Like, it would be so fun. Because when I was in Ibiza, right, like, I was just watching all these DJs, and they looked so happy. And it really inspired me. You know what? I thought about doing it alone, but I'm definitely down to be a group with you. Like, I think that'd be sick. That would be so lit. Yeah. Well, so for we gotta think about our DJ group name. Like for real, let's let's let's, let's throw up more options right now. Hey, mm, what I say, sexy besties. That was cool. Future couple was cool. <laughs> <laughs> you with the future couple? That's a fucking sick name. Future couple. Future. Um, DJ what else? Couple. What else? Um. Jenna, I gave two names. You got to give one. Mm, my brain cells aren't working. <laughs> I can't think. Uh, I don't know. I like DJ. DJ. D -A, but it would have to be like D&J &J Thotties. No, DJ. D Just D&J? I don't know. I, I don't know because it's so like <laughs> we, we won't stand out enough. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. <laughs> like how we're both like mm. <laughs> we're both thinking hmm. mm. you know what you guys leave us some DJ names yeah leave us some suggestions that, that, that could be our names in the bottom and then we could DJ in Ibiza that'd be sick and I think we'll get booked quick like let's say we learn from now till summer I think we'll get booked at, a, at like events I think so too you, you know people right yeah I know a lot of people yeah 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 you plug us come on let's do mm. it it would be so fun. And we could, like, um, record it. Yeah, Post yeah. Post on YouTube. People All that. watch our sets. Fact. Okay. Lit. I'm trying to think of, like, your name. And, like, okay, so I was thinking, like, Janet knows. <laughs> like, Blue knows. But then I'm thinking, like. Janet knows. Avocado's World. But then that's, like, a little too long. Or, like, Little Dead Duno. But then that's just only my name, so that's weird. <laughs> Or D&J. Or you're really stuck on that, huh? <laughs> d and J. I I guess we're going to have to go with D&J. We'll figure it out. Me and Janet will figure it out. But that, like, that would be so lit. I already know. No, that I would be... I could already see us just doing it. Hands up, everybody! This is D&J. Thank you for coming out with us tonight. Have a great time. Damn. Who do you want to collab with? Fisher? That would be sick. I love Fisher. I love him so much. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. My favorite DJ right now is Red Tape. That was sick. That was sick. You gotta watch that. that was, oh, you know what? He was in Miami when you were there. What day? He, I just seen it in a story. He was he, like, you just came back. I came back. I left. Miami he was there this past week, though. I left Miami Thursday. Today's Monday, so last week. He was definitely in Miami for sure. He was. He should have came. Miami's sick. Miami's so You lit. know what? Is, I, I hate the fucking weather. The weather sucks, but like when I was in Miami, like you could just tell people are living. Like people sure. are having fun. People are living. We're vibing. Everyone's fucking. Like it's fun. Like <laughs> everyone's doing drugs. It's fun. Janet's like, I was not fucking. I was getting kicked out. <laughs> I didn't. No, I, after my husband, I couldn't. I couldn't. Life has him. changed. Are I you, are, are you going him. celibate till you see him again? I don't know, because my birthday's coming up. Oh, birthday sex. Birthday sex. And one thing I know. Yeah. I feel like I, I need to have birthday sex for sure. Great song. I need to have birthday sex for what's, sure. What's your, like, favorite type of, like, music to get it on with? Um, Depends. Depends what kind of mood I'm in. You know what's crazy? Every time I like seem to like be fucking, Kaylin for real for real comes on. I don't know if that's pause. Yeah. Yeah, just some Kaylin always comes on for some reason. Says the vibe. Bitches love Kaylin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like Drake. Feel Drake? Like is fire. It's more depressed. Oh, you're depressed. <laughs> Not anymore. What did you and this artist have? His own music? He just like he just like he just went to his files and just put it in a Unreleased? He was not playing his own music, but he was playing like his genre. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what, what song do you remember coming on? I don't remember it, to be honest. La Canción by Bad Bunny and J Balvin. 
It's a sad I ass song. love that song. That fucking way. song. You know that's the song that put me on Bad Bunny? Really? Yeah. Yeah, that, that whole album with Jake Fucking Jay great album. Oasis, Fire. Yeah. No, but I, think, I think with him, we were outside, so there wasn't really music. You did you know outside? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Like outside, like where? Like by the bushes? <laughs> like what? Fool, you're on some shit, Janet. <laughs> oh my God. Janet, you're like, I was thinking you was in this big ass room, master. Master bed, like... No, you didn't let me finish. No, we did not do it outside. Doing it outside is crazy. That's, fuck, that's <laughs> what I tell you. <laughs> no, like, we were out... He was smoking a blunt, and we were outside, and that's when I kissed him. And, mm. he, and then he took me inside, but no, no. Outside, no. Okay, yeah, nice. But I'm not opposed... To doing it outside? <laughs> If he, if he wanted it outside, I would have done it. Mm. You know what? Shout out you and his love. Uh, I love him. It's a very deep one. Very Literally. deep. Yeah. Literally. Mm. No, yeah. He usually like when I get with like an artist, I usually like can't listen to his music. How many artists did he get with? That's not the point. But with this artist, like he like the music is better because it was just so perfect. Wow. Everything, can everything you can so you name the artist? What if fuck it, what if his dig game was trash? You would have not like now seen. Felt like his music was the same? Yeah. Mm. Or like if it ends bad. Like say the sex was so bad, you're like, ugh. Mm. And you're like, oh, I can't listen to his music. Back to the artist. Who are the artists? Uh, we'll bleep every single name. I can't, I can't do it. I can't say it. Off camera? Maybe. You'll tell me off camera. Maybe, maybe. Mm. I gotta respect my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Janet, what do you have coming up other than me and you, me and you're eating at Nobu? My birthday. Your birthday. Shout out your My birthday, man. My birthday. Honestly, I, I think I'm the happiest I've ever been. That's good, though, food. Oh, Janet, I know me and you, we literally, when we link up, there's our conversation, like we talk yeah. shit and just have a good fucking no, time. No, but truthfully, I've been the happiest. Like, that's good, though, food. Like, that's real like, good. Like, even though I'm joking about, like, the curing my depression, but Loki did. Loki did. <laughs> but I've just been so happy. And, like, this year for this birthday, I'm just so excited. Yeah. I'm just so excited for the future. So excited to see what, what more life has in store for me. What's one place you want to visit that you haven't visited? I really want to go to Hawaii. Mm, you know what? That's more like, yeah, I feel like you could go, but it's like a couple things I heard. It's wholesome. Wholesome, it's wholesome. You don't yeah. go. You don't go to Hawaii and, like, turn up, you know? You go for, like, more adventurous. The tourist shit. And which I'm down. Like, when I went to El Salvador, like, I just did wholesome shit there, yeah. too. Like, I didn't go to turn up. Like, I was doing, like, bike lining, zip lining. Fire. Just like, just, like, being by the beach, chilling. Like, I like doing wholesome stuff, too. You know, it's crazy that people have told me, and, and I'm from Mexico, and it's not me being biased, but, like, uh, fucking that I should visit, like, fuck it, you should visit Mexico City. Me? Yeah, I've never gone either, but people always tell me, like, bro, the best city to go hang Let's out go. at. Let's go. Bro, we got to go. You know what? I think I'm going to go on my birthday. You should come. Invite me, yeah. Yeah, in March next year. I'm going to pull up. All right, bet. I'm marking in my calendar. Lit. No, what yeah, are, I want to. I just want to travel more. What are you getting me for Christmas? What am I going to do for Christmas? What are you getting me for Christmas? I have some couple ideas, maybe. Why do you make it like, like <laughs> you make it all mysterious? Like, do no, don't you worry. Or give me your wish list. Let's wow. Make, make a wish list. I, I already have some stuff on my. We should do like a little like Christmas thing. Mm. Like a little. What do you call it when you exchange gifts? Secret Santa. Santa. You know, you, you know what I've never done. White elephant. I've never done that either. I, I like it. It seems so fucking complicated. It's, it seems like yeah, like you get a gift and then you steal it. Yeah, like. Mm. Yeah. The only person I seen do that, and like I try to understand that, was David Dobrik. He did it like for his YouTube channel or whatever. But yeah, yeah, we should do something like that. Mm. Like so have a little gathering, get our, you know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's 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 try something. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. And then we DJing that and party. <laughs> Janet, D and J coming up next. <laughs> D and J literally. Be so lit. Have you ever drank E and J? Huh? 
E and J. What's that? It's like a very cheap alcohol. Oh, what? is it like a whiskey? I think my sister was telling me about that. Yes. It's, no, I never had that. It's called me and the homies growing up. We used to call it Evil Juice. Evil Juice. Fucking terrible. I think I might need that. It cost no. It costs like ten <laughs> bucks. Don't fucking drink that. You know what? Drinking E and J with Janet would be crazy. I'm down. It's fucking it. I'll probably die the next day. Half Wait, off. It, why is it that bad? It's just cheap. It's like drinking like taco vodka. Oh. It's like. Does it give you a hangover? Yes, it's like a homeless drink. Have you ever seen homeless drinking like a bottle of just some shit that you're like, where'd you buy that? And they're like, ten bucks. And it's like this big what ass. What about bu- those little mini shots? Those get me fucked up. Oh, the ones they sell like right next to the counter. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those get me fucked up. Mm. Have you ever had poppers? No. <laughs> Did he do that before the butt stuff? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Like <laughs> the first time it was introduced to me, it was like the first time it was introduced it to me. It is so fun to do it. Do it at a rave. I heard people. I heard people say it makes you feel like it's like Nas. Yeah, but it's like feels better because you don't have to inhale anything. You're just like, I'm not down. And then you're like, ah, high on life. Yeah, when people were like first introduced it to me, it was like. No, you need to do it. Like I know people are like, oh, it's a gay thing, but like. Yeah, that's fun. so. When I first heard about it, the hunger Erica was like, yeah, it's for gay dudes who like get loosened up, and I was like, oh, that's cool, but just okay, but it just also- not for me. And then like I saw like thirty other homies do it. I was like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, and they're like, fool, it's straight, a normal thing. Straights do it all the time, but I heard that it actually loose like relaxes your muscles, so you can even give head better. Like your throat relaxes, mm, so you yeah. get really good head too. Yeah, I don't give hair, so. Okay. We'll give it to your when you have these some give it give them some be like, hey, give poppers like hey poppers hey, poppers poppers yeah <laughs> literally but you should do it at a rave it's fun especially like I'm just not like a like a drug like I, like I know it's not like a drug drug but I'm just not yeah, like yeah I get you I yeah. respect that I'm like very much like if I'm at a rave I'm doing it up with like the four locals the white cloth oh, four locals some liquor and and and, and I'll be alright. Not the four locos. And when I'm really drunk, maybe smoke a cigarette or two, I'll be okay. I don't do nicotine. The cigarette hits differently when you when you drunk, you just it feels good. You vape too? I don't vape. Okay. I'm not a vape type of guy. Okay. Definitely some like cigarettes though. Yeah. I never had cigarettes. Don't do it. I don't think I look like the type of girl to do it. You kinda do though. Huh, Andres, you have. give like a little emo vibes like I'll fucking kill you, man. You know, you smoke cigarettes in your, like, four-story home in your balcony. But I'm not emo. A little bit, Maybe the old me. The old you was definitely. The old me, but now I'm... Oh, happy now. Very happy. If you could have anybody perform at your birthday, and don't say who I think you're going to say. Bad Uh, Bunny. (laughs) Bad Bunny, okay. (laughs) If you could date a rapper that's dead right now, who would you date? Mac Miller. Oh my God. I, I would definitely him. date Mac Miller too. He's so cute. Great guy. You know what? Shout out my boy. I, f- I wish I'd have your IG in hand right now. But right? He's, actually, he's, he's making me a portrait of Mac Miller from my house. Really? Love Mac Miller. That kid's album, oh, yeah. mixtape, whatever anybody wants soon. to confirm it. Great fucking song. Great song. Some of my best music of all time. Very beautiful. I love the soul. I love everything. Yeah. Yeah, he was so special. It's sad that, like, you know. Yeah, what fuck, happened to him. bro. I wish. That's one person I wish I could interview. Right? Or, like, I wish I could see him in concert, at least. Yeah, I was too young to, like, even know about concerts and shit. Really? Yeah, like, I, my first, like my first concert was, like, a while ago. Yeah, I wasn't. I actually went to a festival where he performed, but I didn't get to see him because I wanted to see someone else. Mm, you kind of regret that now? Not really, because... Okay, so I went to go see the Migos before, like... This is when they were lit, like 2017. Like, yeah. Me, like, Bad and Bougie was everywhere. Like, I was like, I'm going to see goes. But, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, now so and so passed I, away too. So. You know who I saw before? J. Cole. Oh, I love J. Cole too. Dog. And that was Forest Hills Drive had just came out. <gasps> really? Bro, when he did, uh, when he, um, when he did Love Yours, he did Wet Dreams, all those yeah. classics. Wow, Jake was fire. Game. Or Kendrick, I really like Kendrick too. Mm. I never seen Kendrick perform. Never. 
He's I actually see, gonna have a concert here in LA. I seen ASAP. I seen ASAP Ferg. Yeah. I seen Action Bronson. Have you seen Drake? I haven't seen Drake. Okay. Game changer? Not really. Is mid? I mean, a little bit. Mm. I don't know. I snuck into his concert though. You told me. I did tell you. You huh? did. You did. You I, did. I snuck in because I didn't really care, but like my friend was like, "I'll sneak you in." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." So then I go and like. I think I was just so lit. You know when you get so lit, you're just tired? Yes. That's how I was at the concert. You were, like, super over it. Yeah, like, I was just so, like, lit. I was, like, mm. couldn't even keep my head up. Okay. But yeah. Drake is fun, yeah. You should see him. Bangers, too. though. He has classics for days. Yeah. He can't ever, like... What's your favorite album? Ah... <sighs> Nothing was the same was good. Yeah, nothing was the same. Uh, what's the classic one? I'm fucking... Take care. Take, where, where, is, is that where Crew Love's at? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fucking classic. Um, the Weekend. Oh, my God, The Weekend. That's I'm not a that, fan. What? Bye. Bruno Mars is better than The Weekend. The Weekend Bruno is Mars so is, horny. Put some The Weekend. Bruno, get horny. Bruno Mars is better than The Weekend. I'll catch a grenade no one's gonna agree for with you. you. No one's going to agree with you. That's like one song. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's like one song. I could have bought you flowers. Okay, that's two songs. And help. The weekend is so, like. What and you held your hand. Should have gave you all my. What? And it's like one, two. No, that's not, that's not the weekend. <laughs> What's the one song he has with Travis? Not with Travis, uh, McCoy something. Travis McCoy. I wanna be a billionaire, so bring it back. Why you wanna be that? So corny. (laughs) (laughs) So corny. Too young, too dumb to realize. (laughs) Great fucking songs. The fucking, weekend these are over f- no Bruno Mars over the weekend is party crazy. next door over the weekend. No, no, party next so, door is better than the weekend. Is so fine, this, uh, and his music is so good. After uh, hours, come on now. That's what I don't give a fuck about. Bruno Mars and party next door are better than the fucking weekend, and I'm stamping on that. Uh. Well, I don't think many people will agree with that. I'm, I'm going to make this a fucking clip. I promise you people are going to no, agree No, many people are not going to agree Bruno with that. Bruno Mars is better than the fucking weekend. No. You know how I really want to see you perform? Alicia Keys. I want to see Michael Jackson, but he died. No, well, Janet, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> Fool. Point is, Bruno Mars is better than the fucking weekend. No. Dog, I'll go over his fucking no. poop. The weekend is, you cannot be saying that right now. Bro, get the fuck out. I went to his concert last year, the weekend. It was good. Oh my God, just. We should do karaoke. Oh my God. (laughs) Talk, are you serious? Bro. I like, okay, one song I do like, like is The Locked Out of Heaven or something like that. Dog, Bruno Mars is a fucking legend. Billionaires. Play that song, Locked Out of Heaven. Well, we're going to get demonetized if I play anything okay, that fine, is isn't nice. But fool, yes. No, I still think The weekend is it. There's a conversation we're going to have to have deep, 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 deep because I don't know. Yes. Yes, no. yes, 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 yes. Anyways, Janet, yes, I love yes, you, yes, girl. Yes. I love you too. Thank you for coming, always. Thank you. It was so much fun. Um, Eddie, you want to tell the people? Can we give them a discount on your just because you came out with the Duno for today only? I'll, I'll give them the Duno special. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving them the Duno special. Okay, you're getting the Duno special. <laughs> Type in the promo code Duno special. <laughs> Yeah, or the Duno. Yeah, the I'll Duno. have you on. Or, uh, no. or you don't do that, huh? You don't collab with girls. Collab? What do you mean? Like, collab with girls? Like, <laughs> on- like you never had an ass girl be like, oh, Duno, you can you help me with my? Uh no. I was thinking of starting one before. I know you always say that. Though. Where I only eat coochie on it. 
Cause I want to be an actor one day. I don't know if like people will give me roles. Am I? Do you see Kim Kardashian? Mm, yeah, but her sex tape was whack. But she did it, and then she she's acting. Mm, that's true. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Or like Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. She doesn't act, but she Paris def- Hilton had a sex tape, and then she was on a reality show. If anything, it'll boost you. Mm. Get you the lead role. <laughs> Rock out with my cock out. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, the Duno special. We'll give the you guys Duno the Duno special's on the way. The Duno special's coming but on yeah, the way. Yeah, follow me. You know. Yeah, link is, in, that. The, link is in the description. You feel me? The but link yeah, tree. Com- comment that the weekend is better, please. please. Do you have a link tree or is it just strictly straight to your website? A link tree, yeah. No, okay. wait. A website, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll get it from your bio or something. Of course. You feel me? Go tap in with Janet, one of my favorites. You feel me? And you're going to be streaming soon again. Mm-hmm. And we're going to become DJ's group. DJ. DJ. <laughs> we're going to be Liddy and Ibiza fucking hoes. You feel me? And just regular raves fucking hoes. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it all, baby. We need to become like Ray Fam. Ray Fam. Yeah. What yeah. should our totem say when we or go who, raving? Or who do you go raving with? Like you're yeah, with the homie PZ, a gang, gang of the homies. Well, add me in there. Okay, I'll add you in there. Thank you. Who, uh, who would, what would be our. If me and you had a totem right now, what would it be? You want to know what was a favorite fucking thing I ever saw on a totem? What? I thought Tesla was a car. Yeah. Okay, that one's fire. That was fire. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it up. Let's do it. You guys, this has been another episode of No and Janet. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cheese man with Duno. No. That, that That's like is... the main topic, yeah. I, I, Go I, do it, you guys. I don't Go know. Do it. <laughs> Go do it and tell me how it went for you, please.